All right, here's an unboxing of a Danzo Firebird FH, FH21. Uh, it's a D2 steel with G10 scales. I've already opened it once because I've had it for about a month. So, but here we go. <laughs> Gotta get it open. Like all Ganzos that I have had, uh, they come with a a pouch, and I stick them in the box. I guess it'd be cool to use it for something. I just haven't figured out what to use them for. I guess you put the knives in them for storage. Comes in bubble wrap. Like I said I opened it. I had in my own lanyard. Okay, you'll see what it looks like closed. It's a flipper. So they already said it has G G10 scales. It's liner lock. It's all stainless inside, so it's got stainless underneath the G10. The steel is G2. It's supposed to be 60 on the hard hard uh, hardness scale. Has a satin finish. Pretty nice actually. Has jimping on the top. Get a real nice grip. The handle is a little small for me, but it's all right. If I I put I get a good purchase up here on the the front of the blade where the jimping is, then I can get my hand all the way on it. But that's why I kind of put a lanyard on it kind of fills out a little bit and that makes it a little better for me so all right this so the length of it is I already measured it but we'll put it on the ruler here is a seven total length is 7.75 inches we'll just lay it down so you can see it the blade length is 3.40 inches the handle length is 4.35 inches. Uh, it's a liner lock, like I already said. It's the liner lock. It has the lockup is, I think it's right on. It's real smooth. They have a cutout here too, so you can get your finger in there. But well, it, this action is really nice. It has, oh yeah, it's a drop shut. You just sit here and whoop. Yeah, so it has uh, bearings in it. It's uh makes it real smooth. You really get a nice flick out of it. And like I said, you can just it just closes real nice. Uh, has the lanyard. It's a drop point drop point blade. It's pretty thick on the end too, so it's got like a rim force right there so you can see if I can find it there yeah. Let's see you can see the edge of it how it thickens out and it was sharp coming out of the box it was really sharp but uh, I end up resharpening it and I it took a real nice edge uh, let's see if I got some foam paper right here yeah it takes a I mean, this should last for a while, too, with D2. Yeah, so. So it takes a real, real nice edge. Uh, I guess we'll do some size comparisons. Got the actual knife itself. The Firebird FH21. Here's another Firebird that's modeled after the Rat one. It's a... Uh, F727M see so a little bit bigger uh, I, I like this the handle I like on this one because I can really get my so it has just a little bit more but this is more it's a little tiny bigger 
Uh, the honey badgers are coming out now. Uh, I got the honey badger. It's paired with the honey badger. It's a little bit, the honey badger's a little bigger. You can see the two in between. Let's go tip to tip to tip. Let's see. So, and then lastly, I got a Tenacious, Spiderco Tenacious. So, and so there's some size comparisons. Let's see, let's put it on top of the Tenacious. I don't know if I can. It won't really sit there. But, yeah, it's not really a good idea. I don't really. But, like I said, it's the smaller of all of these but maybe not the tenacious it might be about the the handle might be the same size as the tenacious but i you know i think i the handle is a little small that's the only thing i didn't really like about this uh but wow i mean like the action the bearings in it it's d2 everything else is perfect it just disappears in your pocket it has like uh has a deep clip deep carry pocket clip pretty much you see that only be the, the only, you'd only see this little section out if you're carrying uh but really for, uh what did i pay i think i want to say it was 27 dollars 24 20 24 to 27 dollars uh but really excellent knife another excellent knife from uh ganzo and firebird uh no complaints uh, it's just too nice. I, I mean, really, to take it out and do work with. That's the only. I mean, I, I'm sure that blade right there, that blade would do a real fine job, though. It took a really nice edge too. I mean, I. It's got like a. A mirror image, on it, so you can't. I mean. I'd say, would I buy again? Yes, I would, for the price. It's a no-brainer. So, all right. Well, that's... Well, hey, I didn't do the weigh-in. Let's see. Got this scale here and didn't do a weigh-in. What's it weigh? You might ask. I almost forgot that. Let's turn the scale on. Got it zeroed out. And it comes in at a weight of... That don't seem right. Oh, it's grams. Let's see. Uh, mode... The the Reezy Road again. There we go. Let's try it. It is a weight of 3.50. So it's there. Uh, it's not it's not super heavy. It's under four, but I mean, it's uh three point. It's not bad. Let's compare like the Tenacious right here. I believe the Tenacious weighs more. Yep, the Tenacious weighs four. Four ounces compared to the uh, the F21. Here's the one that's modeled at the that's 420. So actually, wow. So it's pretty. It's lighter than the Tenacious and the the one that's modeled at the Ontario Rat. Uh, let's see what this is a bigger knife, the Honey Badger, but it has FRN scales, so it weighs less than that one too. So it weighs less than all of them. So it's a, so actually not a bad carry knife if you want to slip it in your pocket and disappear. It probably disappear. I don't carry it too much. Like I said, I, I like, I like it. It's almost too nice to carry around. So all right. Well, I will see you guys later. Bye.